Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro and today I'll be showing you how to download the Whimsy Fighter Jet Data Pack on your server. The Whimsy Fighter Jet Data Pack introduces a new master weapon into Minecraft. What you have to do to obtain this weapon is craft it using this recipe. Then you'll obtain a spawn egg which you can use. And ta-da! The fighter jet looks like this. You can sit inside the fighter jet and it's pretty cool. Not just that but you can press W to take off. In air, you can press A to control the left missile and D to control the right one. If at some point you want to leave the fighter jet, you can press shift to parachute down. If you also want to disable world damage from the jet's missiles, you can do so by turning mob griefing to false. This data pack is pretty simple, but super unique. You can even take down the ender dragon with the jet. So if you want to find out how to download this, just keep on watching. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. When you're there, simply scroll down until you see the first download button. When you click that button, it'll redirect you to the creator's YouTube video. All you have to do there is scroll down and click on the data pack and resource pack download button in the description. That'll send you to a Google Drive page where you should press on each file individually and press download. When the downloads are complete, we recommend you move both zips to a place where you can easily access, for example, your desktop. For this step, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. In this case, the server version should be set to 1.19.2. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Firstly, what you're going to do is head to the worlds tab. Here's where you're going to create a brand new world. This is required as this data pack contains experimental features. If you install this data pack onto an already existing world, you'll come across issues such as structures and items not loading. However, you can set your world name and adjust world settings as usual. Just make sure the world name doesn't have any spaces or special characters. But you'll also see a button below labeled Upload Data Packs. Simply click the Select Files button and then navigate to the area you saved the data pack zip to. Once you've found it, press Open and then Create World. It'll take a second for the files to upload, but when that's done, you should go into the Files tab. Double click on your world folder and then go into the data packs folder. If you see the data pack zip inside, it means you followed these steps correctly. Now that the data pack is uploaded onto the server, we have to make sure the resource pack is also installed. To do that, you'll want to head back to the Files tab. Then open up the server.properties file and look for the line saying Resource Pack. After the equals, you want to right click and paste the link to the required resource pack. We ourselves have uploaded that file to our Dropbox, so if you'd like, you can use our link. It'll be in the description. Alternatively though, you can upload the resource pack to any website that supports creations of hotlinks and put your own hotlink into the server.properties file. Before continuing, make sure to press Save File to confirm the changes and then all you have to do is log into your server to experience the new additions. You can do this by restarting your server. After it's booted up, head to the dashboard and copy the host name. Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click Add Server and in the server address section, paste the host name. When you join the server, you'll be prompted with this pop-up asking if you want to download and install the required texture pack. We recommend pressing yes, so every time you join the server in the future, it'll be automatically enabled. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.